Tesla has announced important financial and production updates during the Q1 2022 earnings call, including new information about Giga Texas production. Tesla Model Y has made significant headlines because of its new 4680 cell variant automobile ever since it was announced to release. According to recent flyovers of Giga Texas, manufacturing Model Ys are presently being built. The new batches of the vehicle outfitted with 4680 battery cells have been constructed. Moreover, Elon Musk stated during the company's fourth quarter and full year 2021 earnings call that Tesla will begin shipping Model Ys with structural battery packs as soon as the vehicle's final certification was completed. Trucks laden with completely assembled Model Ys were observed leaving Giga Texas earlier this month, and dozens upon dozens of the all-electric crossovers were spotted, likely being prepared for shipment. During a flyover this Sunday, Jeff Roberts, a drone operator who has been watching the progress of Gigafactory Texas from its inception, noticed another batch of what appeared to be production Model Ys charging their batteries. According to recent sightings, the vehicles appear to be quite tuned and ready for customer deliveries. It would be an understatement to say that the Made in Texas Model Y has sparked a lot of interest. The all-electric crossovers from Giga Texas will be outfitted with the company's custom-designed and home-built 4680 cells, and will essentially be the same car as the Model Y made in Tesla's Fremont factory in California. The Model Ys will also come with a structural battery pack, which the company is touting as its next great manufacturing breakthrough. It's worth noting that Giga Texas is a vast facility, and even a modest ramp-up of the Made in Texas Model Y would necessitate a large number of 4680 batteries from the company's Fremont, California pilot line. Fortunately, Tesla's 4680 battery cell manufacturing efforts appear to be improving, as indicated by the company's announcement last month that it had produced a 1 million 4680 battery cell. According to reports, the output of Tesla's Cato Road facility's 4680 pilot line is rapidly improving. The Made in Texas Model Y with 4680 cells and structural battery packs might very well be the first of Tesla's next generation of automobiles. Tesla should be able to construct the all-electric crossover in a more cost-effective manner with such advancements in place, all while making the vehicle better and safer overall. Tests on the 4680 Model Ys from Texas appear to be going well, at least according to Andrew Baglino, SVP Powertrain and Energy Engineering. During a recent earnings call, Baglino, the senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering at Tesla, said that in Cato, they're making significant progress on the ramp curve. Every day, they produce 4680 structural packs, which are then built into automobiles in Texas. Their first 4680 automobiles are expected to arrive this quarter. Baglino said, here, our focus is on the cell, the pack, and the vehicles driving yield quality and cost to ensure we're ready for higher volumes this year as we ramp up and next year. Tesla has started producing the 4680 cells at a pilot production facility in Fremont since the unveiling, as well as deploying large-scale production at other factories such as Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. Despite the fact that Tesla refers to it as a pilot factory, the manufacturer has stated that the facility will provide 10 gigawatt hour of battery cells, which is more than many other full-scale battery cell factories. The present production rate is the most relevant parameter for determining how many vehicles Tesla can produce using the pilot plant's capacity. But it appears that Tesla has produced 1 million 4680 cells as of January. At 1,000 cells per car, 1 million cells will be needed to create around 1,000 Model Y vehicles at Gigafactory Texas. If Tesla can create 100,000 4680 cells per week, it will be enough to produce 100 Model Y vehicles per week, which would be a decent start as 4680 cell manufacturing ramps up alongside Model Y production. Tesla's long-awaited projects to reinvent castings and EV battery technology have arrived with the confirmation that Model Y vehicles made at Gigafactory Texas would contain the structural battery pack and 4680 cells. Musk stated that the structural battery pack will be installed in the Gigafactory Texas Model Ys, which will improve car stiffness and structural integrity. When Tesla released the shareholder deck immediately before the earnings call, it implied that the structural pack will be included in automobiles. The structural battery pack functions similarly to an airplane wing, 
enhancing the structural integrity of Tesla automobiles. The location of structural batteries eliminates unnecessary structure from the battery packs, boosting density, while the casting enhances manufacturing efficiency and strength. The battery's non-cell component has negative mass, Musk explained. We save more mass in the rest of the vehicle than we did in the battery's non-cell portion. So how do you make the battery's mass as small as possible? Make it a minus. The notion is that because superfluous structures within the pack were removed, individual cells could be placed more efficiently. The revolutionary structural battery pack design eliminates all negative mass, resulting in increased pack density and structural stability. It will only make the vehicle safer, already outperforming Tesla's world-class crash safety scores across the board. Tesla's long-standing projects to revolutionize castings and EV battery technology have arrived, with Model Y vehicles manufactured at Gigafactory Texas confirmed to have the structural battery pack and 4680 cells. And we are more excited than ever about these new developments.